So pretty amazing development. I always love when people just say the quiet part out loud. Let's put this up there on the screen from Politico. Tax the rich. Executives predict Biden's big plans will flop. Arguably, the subhead is actually the most important there, Crystal, which is that corporate executive and lobbyists say they are confident they can kill almost all tax hikes by pressuring moderate Democrats in the House and the Senate. They think progressive Democrats don't really care about the cost of new programs and will be happy to push through as much spending as they can and then run on the tax hikes in 2022 rather than actually pass them this year. That's actually an extraordinarily astute observation mm. um, whenever you think about it. But I do think it is always remarkable whenever they're so confident they're willing to come out and basically say on the record, interviews with over a dozen executive lobbyists and business groups turned up a similar theme. While Dems might be able to push through a slightly higher corporate tax rate, when it comes to higher taxes on the rich on capital gains and financial transactions or private equity taxes, forget it, it's not happening. Mm. They already know. They've literally been assured by members of Congress, the moderates, and many of the other Republicans, too, that they will be completely and totally safe. And I just think it's amazing whenever they're just willing to come out and have a victory dance before the vote even happens. Yeah. I mean, look, the Republicans are irrelevant. They're all opposed yeah, to, exactly. you know, any sort of higher tax so they don't than corporations. Care, right? They're completely irrelevant to the conversation. So we're only talking about Democrats that are Kristen giving Sinema, them right. this confidence. Yeah. And we hear a lot from Kirsten Cinema, and we hear a lot from Joe Manchin. Right. But the truth is, and that's what this really exposes, behind the scenes, there are many more Democrats quietly doing the bidding mm -hmm. of corporate America. And the other thing that's revealed here is it also shows you which pieces of the tax proposals are an actual threat to them. Yes. They hate the higher carried interest. They hate the capital gains tax. They hate any sort of financial transactions tax. The corporate tax rate going up a few points, you know, they technically. They don't pay it anyway. They're not going to yeah. pay it anyway, so they don't care. They're like, sure, make it 25%. <laughs> we really don't care. So that also gives you some insight. When Joe Manchin comes out and says, oh, I might be willing to go to 25%, that's because he's been per given permission to do that by these lobbyists and the people who fund his campaign and the campaign of a bunch of other centrists. And oh, by the way, if you, you know, were surprised by this, which I'm sure you guys weren't really surprised by this, like all you need to do is look at the number of Democrats who are willing to go to the mat over the salt tax, mm -hmm. fighting affirmatively and drawing a line in the sand over lowering taxes for the wealthy. That tells you how much of the Democratic caucus is really bad on this piece. But then the other subtext here is they're betting on progressives to not really do anything about it. They're betting on progressives to be yeah. like, well, if we get the infrastructure, we don't really care about the pay fors. And it's true that progressives aren't worried about the deficit, but they are very worried about um, taxing the wealthy and, and just as a, an end goal in and of itself to improve equity, reduce the insane historic levels of inequality that we have right now. But I think they're also probably betting right that they won't actually really do anything about it to make sure that that piece gets included in these plans. Yeah, and if we could drive home one thing, I would say that all of the things where they say, oh, yeah, it's fine if this goes up and this one, as long as this one doesn't pass, goes to show you exactly where the real power center and where a lot of the revenue, uncaptured revenue in America continues to sit. Private equity profits, financial transactions, capital gains, and wealth are the number one centers, which are completely, almost completely untouched um, at this moment, and where a lot of the burgeoning inequality that we do see continues to be happening. So you can, again, you know, I'm seeing Janet Yellen is going to go before the Chamber of Commerce today and make her case on high corporate taxes. And again, I think it is very, very, very telling that she is making the case only about higher corporate mm. taxes and not about this the people who work at the Chamber of Commerce and more are absolutely confident that they are going to prevail in this fight before the vote even happens, and it just tells you a lot about how Washington works. Indeed. All right, we've got more rising for you after this.